back to my channel. So if you're new here, my name is Afri Alicia and over here, natural hair is the topic. So in today's video, we have some new products to test. It's both from Dark and Lovely. So this is the Pawpaw Hair Treatment or Papaya. We say Pawpaw. And this is the Dark and Lovely 24 hour old gel. I'm just going to go and shampoo my hair. And then I'll be right back to start using and talking about these products. Okay guys, so my hair is washed, not at all conditioned or anything, we're going to test this product now. And my hair was kind of in like a braid out, we shouldn't be having any definition. Firstly, we're going to go in with this product, also if you're not familiar with any of my reviews, I'll first talk about it and use it and then in the end I'll give you like my final review, how I actually feel about it. On first impressions, like I am so impressed, this does not at all look like a dark and lovely product. I know the purple is very much the theme. This looks very much like dark and lovely. This is very new and I actually love it. It's the repairing one. I chose the repairing one. They do have three others. So I took this repairing one because I just feel like my hair needs it a little bit. And because it's purple, like, wow, it smells like a yogurt. It smells super creamy. So guys, the great thing about this is it can be used as a leave-in a conditioner and a deep conditioner so like versatility oh my word but the thing is a deep conditioner has to be very moisturizing and a leave-in has to be quite light i'm going to kind of use it all three ways i'm going to use it as a conditioner now detangle with it i'm then going to leave it on longer so that i can get like a deep condition from it and then after i rinse that out i will then go ahead and put in a little bit for some leave-in so they say if you want to use it as a conditioner you can leave it in for about three to five minutes wow guys this feels like a cream that you put on your body it's like a body butter if you want to leave it as a deep conditioner they say you can leave it minimum for 10 minutes if you want to use it as a leave-in you can just use a little bit of it focus more on your ends and just to retain the moisture i think because i'm going in like as a conditioner i can add a little bit more what i can feel is like it's literally soaking into my head like my head is drinking this up none of the product is sitting on top of my head all just soaking into my head already let me show you the difference guys so i actually have a history with dark and lovely back when Okay, they actually still are very much known for the relaxers, but I saw they came out with curly products, but like, even then, I still like side-eyed them a little bit. Because I felt like I knew them as a brand, and I didn't feel like they really cared that much for natural hair, I didn't care for them. But then, I saw actually one of my curly girls actually recommended the gel that I got. I've seen a lot of curly girls try out their hair treatments and raving about it, so that made me reconsider it. And then, today I went to the shop to go buy like literally groceries, and I see that they sell dark and lovely also in like the stores like the grocery shops. Oh my word, that is super convenient. Like I don't need to go to clicks to get my products because oh, is it just me? But it's clicks not the plug anymore. Even clicks is prices, guys. No way. I was on the page because I knew I was gonna do this review and I was just seeing all the products they have that are so great for natural hair. Like I'm sleeping on them. Literally or maybe it was just me. As this is going on, you can clearly see it's super moisturizing. My hair is drinking it up. Even if I put on a lot, it's literally getting into my hair. As I'm deep conditioning now, I hope that it's like gonna do a lot because it does feel quite light. It's not as thick as other butters. I feel like deep conditioners are supposed to be thick. But we'll see what it does after I rinse my hair. I already have a few things to say. But I'll keep that for the end when I have like my whole review right? Maybe what I'm feeling now is like a totally different after I like rinse my hair. Here's kind of a close up. This is my freshly conditioned hair, and gonna go into deep condition now. And this is freshly washed hair. 
So definitely keep your lock. I'm just gonna go to the other side and wait 10 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did the real deal because we are deep conditioning. I have a shower cap that I actually bought to do deep conditioning in but I feel like that's so loose and you just stay strapped much better in a plastic bag so but it's been about 15 minutes now the deep conditioner should have done its thing my hair does feel not that much different from like 15 minutes ago straight after the conditioner it's soaking my hair pretty quick like it's a little bit softer so now i'm gonna go in and i'm going to go rinse this off okay because now that was the deep condition and then we're gonna go into the toy stuff the style of the curls so we're actually gonna use it as a leave-in and see if that works so this is my curls right now one thing i can say is i can feel my hair super soft you can see the volume like it's soft so now we will be using them together and trying to get a super cool twist out. So these are two different products and I know they're from the same line but weird enough products sometimes don't mix with each other. So that's why I just want to make sure that these are fine. So I'm just going to do a quick cocktail just to make sure it's mixing well before I put it straight into my head. Okay guys, so this is just mixing two different products so you want to take a small little blob of each and mix it together and just make sure that you're looking for different weird textures and if it comes out smooth in the end then you're good to go okay guys so the consistency seems fine now i'm going to do a three strand twist out please don't get scared put like a flat twist in the front if you don't know how to flat twist or to three strand twist I definitely have videos on three strand twist and a flat twist and yeah you should be good to go I just want to show you how I'm using the product so now we're using the Popo Hair Treat as a leave-in so I'm using a little bit not too much focus a lot on the ends and work it up it feels nicely moisturized and then I'm going in with a 24 hour hold gel. So also like not that much. I was recommended by one of you guys in the comments to try out the dark and lovely gel in the clear pot. This was kind of what I was getting. And to me it was like okay this is what they were talking about. I'm going to try it. I don't know how I didn't even see 48 hour hold. I was actually thinking I am buying a curly gel, not as strong hold. After I like looked at it when I got home, I was like, this is 48 hour hold, this is obviously a strong hold gel. Yeah, so I'm just using a little bit of this, just so that I can still get the gel hold. So I just did a three strand twist and then I'm curling it at the end. <music> I was kind of like half the good sections because you'll see why. So I have this prime section depending on where you want your part. You can even make it a middle part. I'm gonna have my part like over here. Add some leaving. Don't forget the edges guys. And then some gel. Just wanna go and detangle. This is gonna be a flat twist that goes this way and this way, the same with that back section. Yeah, so it's some twisters. 
that soul a perfect media used to be but to the top jao so and that came to the front i used to put more jao so the girls in front might be a bit tighter but i do have a lot to say because i know how my age feels when my age enjoying it so i knew how my age was feeling but anyway that is my twists i'm happy with them just because i wanted like a curly old jaw i didn't want something like super crunchy so i didn't want to use too much and then it gets crunchy even though the jaw says it's like it's not crunchy good morning guys so it's been like a full 24 hours it's almost evening again i looked at my already i just put it on here so i can like leave video for you guys yeah let's go so these are my twists one thing I have to say about this is where is the gel? Where is the gel? My hair just feels soft, it feels moisturized, but it does not feel like I even use the curly gel to be honest. Even in these sections where I felt like I put a lot of gel and it was kind of like, I felt like even I put on too much gel. But let's see, maybe the twist out comes out amazing. Another thing is like last night i did my edges i did sleep or whatever on my edges and it's been all day but for gel that says 24 hours and it doesn't even like it feels like i didn't even have gel on my edges that thing so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of carrot oil first all over my hands and this i'm just gonna seal the moisture in I was also hoping that the um, gel would be like a little bit of stretch. My twist shutting up so so much. Like look here. And I'm gonna go in with some of the 24 hour hold gel. And I'm gonna put some on my edges. I'm kinda using a lot for my edges, but um if you put on for my hair, it does hold it, but not long, guys. Probably like an hour or two. Okay, that should be fine. Nothing too hectic. Here's how the twist is looking. It looks like it's frizzy already. So I'll just untwist it. I just expected a much more strong hold from this gel compared to the roots that have been here out and about like this is shiny and they are separating so nice and I can feel that it's because they have dried sufficiently like it really got to dry in that twist because that's why we love a three strand twist okay guys so I took out the back as you can see Let's take out these flat twists. Okay guys, my curls definitely redeemed my thoughts. So to be honest, I was second guessing this because my twist looked like kind of frizzy. It just didn't feel like the gel I had too much hold and I wasn't the most confident in the leave-in but now that i got a good feel for it let's talk a bit about it this, this front section this is my flat twist i did not separate anything here because the way i do my flat twist um it is kind of defined and separated when it comes to the back ones i did separate the three strand twist kind of a little bit not too much just to make it fill up the whole back section on this side i did mess a bit with the ends so a little bit frizzy at the ends but nothing that ruins the hairstyle my hair is so soft it does not feel like i use gel at all though guys like it feels like i just went in like maybe with a curl cream or something definitely not a 24 hour old gel definitely not 
First things first, we'll start off with the papaya treat or pokoi treat, whatever you want to call it. I don't really have anything bad to say about this. I loved it all three ways. Although, I do feel like it's a little bit light for a deep conditioner. What I would do is when I want a deep condition, I am going to take a little bit out and maybe add some oils. Just to make it a bit more moisturizing because I feel like everything I put on like my hair soaks up everything and it could use a little bit more. Normally when you put on a deep conditioner, it does moisturize but after you leave it in, you like really really feel the difference. I felt like it did the same thing it did if I just conditioned it for like 5 minutes. I would suggest adding a little bit of oil when you are deep conditioning. However, I love it as a leave-in. It could almost be my favorite leave-in right now because my hair feels so moisturized and it's so soft. Yeah, I really have nothing bad to say about this. I really think you should get it. I want to get it in all the different flavors. I feel like it's the perfect consistency for me as a leave-in. But when it comes to a deep conditioner, I feel like it's just a little bit too light. But for a leave-in, it really soaks up in your hair. Super quick, feels so light, so it's perfect to add with other products. Just remember to do that cocktail, just to make sure. Next, we're going on to the 24-hour hold gel. I was expecting stronger hold, which... I kind of wonder a gel that didn't have that much hold, so I'm kind of happy with the results. The only thing is, it's not what it says. Other gels that don't claim to be 48 hours hold my edges much better. I added a bit more here onto my flat twist area so the flat twist area is a little bit more defined just 10% more defined I don't feel like this is as strong as it said to me it's the what it kind of felt like it felt like the gel just evaporated like evaporating in the sense of I had no flakes I had no residue it feels like I didn't even put gel on my hair but the thing is I do feel like the, like the definition in my curls it wouldn't have just been like this just with a leave-in I feel like the leave-in, it's moisturizing but it would have been a bit more puffier so I do think it does have some holding qualities but definitely not strong I would actually say this is exactly what I was looking for when it came to a gel I was looking for something that wasn't really crunchy, no flaky, not that much hold and that's what I got even though it isn't what it says yeah, that's my take on this gel not good enough for edges but I'm gonna try it in a wash and go. Let me know if you wanna see that video. Yeah, just to see if I actually apply a good amount, what it's gonna do to like my natural curl pattern. So that was my take on the two dark and gnarly products. I actually like it. I think they're going in a great direction. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you watch today's video, you probably watch a lot of YouTubers. And what I want to know is I'm planning to do like a kind of setup, like a background setup and whatnot in our spare room. If you have any favorite YouTubers in mind that you really like their background set or you just like the vibe of their channel, please comment them down below so I can just get some inspiration of what I can do because I have no idea. Like it's really just a white wall behind me that I feel like it's so empty. Even if you have any decorative ideas, things that I can have as backdrops, maybe any type of designing stuff guys please let me help so yeah guys thank you so much for watching and god bless